Okay guys, so I polled you, the audience, and the numbers are in. And overwhelmingly, you're looking for the four blade face-off, the budget wars between the Vic Hydro 4 Flex, which is a nice looking razor, and the Schick Extreme 4. There you go. Overwhelmingly, the votes came in. And all five of you, no. Most of you wanted the four blade review, so let's do that right now. I'm gonna do an unbox, and then I'm gonna get right into the shave. And I'm looking a little rugged, it's late, but tomorrow I have somewhere to go. So I have to shave this stubble off, and I'm excited about these two. Both of these, very nice from a packaging or a marketing standpoint. You know, they've both got some cool things going for them. They're in the disposable, throw the razor away category. Comparably priced. I don't have the prices in front of me, but you know, you know, you know these are budget razors. Let's do an unboxing and let's take a look. I'm gonna look at the Vic first because out of the two, I like the packaging, the color scheme, just a little bit better but, you know for you baseball fans i'm gonna say hey hey for baseball we got baseball was back and my homage to baseball there's my 2015 world series mets hoodie too bad they didn't win it they're not the yankees really a pain in the ass opening these packages guys so the Bic is really cool. It actually comes with a handle and I've got five cartridges right here. So really kind of interesting. Nice form factor, good grip to it. It's got rubber on both sides. It's nice gray on black. Very nice. And this is a value guys, look at that. I like the fact that they're strung together. I like the fact that you can Put these on and you can slide that out and it's got that that cover that's nice capped on the side so you you don't you're not sliding out you know that razor's not sliding out so good for the travel that's pretty cool now let's look at the extreme four with titanium coated blades a little less dramatic packaging more sophisticated you get three razors and there's a little tab here that helps you open the packaging so three razors again nice cover there with a cap on the end a little bit more plastic feel but still nice form factor so very comparable guys in terms of design uh, I'm going to give the slight edge to the Bic for the feel. There's a little bit more rubber to this than the uh, the Schick, which is a hard plastic, especially here at the edge. It's got to kind of bite into you. Everything on the Bic is comfortable. It's rounded. There's rubber here on this side. But the proof will be in the pudding, guys. The proof will be in the shaving pudding. Now I have fallen in love with Gillette foam mousse guys. Love it. And the reason I love it is because it's a foam that you don't have to do a lot of work to apply, but it goes on nice and light. So you, you're not fighting through the foam to get to your face, but it gives you a nice foamy layer of protection. So let's get going with that. I'm going to shave one side of my face with the Schick product and the other side of the face with the Bic product. Schick versus Bic in the budget shave off. Gillette foam mousse goes on nice guys. Now I have a three or four day growth. So it'll be interesting to see how these razors work with my stubble here, massaging it in. 
as you can see, it's not a thick foam, guys. Not like a, a Barbasol or even a traditional Gillette foamy. This mousse is nice and light. It has a nice light smell. All right, I'm going to start with the Bic because it won... It won the uh, designer award. So let's see how it tackles the real test. Nice. First blush, no snags, dispatch the hair pretty easily, smooth. There's no real pivot here. I, I would have thought there'd be more pivot. It's a, a, a stiff feel to it. Let's go and do the, uh, the neck. No clogging, which is nice. No fear of cutting myself. And it's handling. Handling that three day growth like a champ. Side one done. Okay, all right. So now let's look at the, the Schick product. Wow, what a difference. I'm already liking the Schick, Schick product better, guys. Uh, just a, a, a wider head for better coverage, more pivot action, more precise feel to it. I feel like I'm in more control. Very nice, I'm impressed. Let's go with the neck. Easy long strokes. Winner, winner. Chicken dinner. You hear that blade, guys? You hear that blade doing the work? Nice. All right, let's go for Paz 2. Now for you novice shavers, you may be saying Paz 2. Your hair grows in all different directions, most of us. So your first pass, you really wanna shave with the grain. So I shave with the grain, which typically the grain is growing this way on your face and this way on your neck. But there are areas on your face that where the hair grows in different patterns or different directions. So multiple passes will ensure that you get to some of those hairs growing in the different direction. So the second pass will be against the grain. Foamy. 
put a little bit more foam mousse on this face. And we're gonna go with our our second our second pass. We'll alternate so you get a different view of the bick. So I was going with the grain. Now I'm gonna go against the grain, guys. You hear that? This Bic razor is no slouch. Solid, secure. Make an easy work. Nice. All right, we'll go back to our Schick Extreme 4. Let's see if I can do it with my left hand. So you can see that. I'm loving this razor, guys. Even left-handed. You hear that? You hear that razor doing the work? And I can shave left-handed, guys, because you really are letting the, the device do the work. You're just guiding it across the skin. Now, for those of you who need an ultra, ultra smooth shave, we're going to go for the third pass. And in the third pass, we're going to go or shave across the grain. So we've gone with the grain against the grain, and now we're going to go across the grain to get any of those stray hairs that might be growing in an abnormal direction. And for this pass... For this last pass, I'm going to go with the winner in my estimation, and that would be the Schick Extreme. Didn't win the marketing war, the design aesthetics, but it's it's winning the, the shaving war, in my opinion, guys. Hear that? You hear that? Smooth and nice. Both sides nice and smooth as a baby's backside. Clear cut winner for me is the Schick Extreme 4, guys. Titanium blades. Nice swivel head loop strip up top. Just a, a really smooth shave. Easy to use. Winner, winner. I want to thank all of you guys who watched today. I want to thank all of you guys who voted earlier that told me to go with the four blade review. I will see you next time when I do Bix Hybrid 3 Comfort versus the Schick Extreme 3 Ultimate. My buddy B-Man has always told me that Chick makes a nice product, and they do. They make a great product. So these two will be coming up next. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. But remember. 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 Keep pushing that. Play.